from West Virginia Secretary of State Matt Corner, and I was invited to uh, participate in some of the uh, early meetings with D3P, the Defending Digital Democracy Program, uh, was was instrumental to us in preparing for the 2018 and 2020 elections. Recognizing that this was really an attack on American democracy, it wasn't a Republican or Democrat or a conservative or liberal thing. This was a let's protect American democracy, and I think there was no better place to be doing this than at the Belfort There was great foresight uh, by Ash Carter and Eric Rosenbach in doing this. Uh, they, they brought us together uh, and we worked collaboratively across the, the spectrum of uh, you know, federal government, academia, and corporate America, uh, political uh, people with political uh, responsibilities inside the state. And uh, then, then they capture all that with lessons learned, put it into playbooks, and uh, left it as a takeaway that we could bring back to our home states. We did that here in West Virginia. Very soon thereafter, we brought all 55 county clerks together in West Virginia for a training program at, uh, in Morgantown, West Virginia, at WVU, and uh, put them through the, vigor, the vigorous training that uh, we had learned at Belfort. And uh, at the time, this was just 2017, 2018, uh, before that 2018 election. And I think some of the clerks questioned uh, this at first, but afterwards they saw the value of this. Once they went through the 2018 cycle and now through the 2020, I got many compliments from the clerks for the training. Uh, we put them through, and our clerks were much more prepared, especially as we went into this pandemic uh, scenario. Uh, that was not necessarily anticipated. It wasn't one of the injects that we practiced at Harvard, but we were able to treat it just like any of the other injects that we had at Harvard. The inject was a scenario that would uh, be thrown at you, and you had to think on your feet, respond very quickly. Messages were uh, formed to address the, the press to keep the public informed. And I think that was one of the main takeaways is that the transparency that is essential to maintain the confidence in our election systems. And by having trained that with a variety of scenarios at uh, Belfort, we were then much more comfortable doing with that back here in our home states. Uh, when the pandemic hit, it's, hey, this is just another scenario. We need to deal with it. We need to deal with it honestly, transparently. And if we didn't have an answer, we would get an answer. And it worked tremendously for us as we got into the 2020 election.